Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and this is Real Living's Daily Bible Class. Listen to what James says. Do not they say evil of the holy name which was given to you, but if you keep the greatest law of all, as it was given in the holy writings, have love for your neighbor as yourself, you do well. But if you take a man's position into account, you do evil, and are judged as evildoers by the law. For anyone who keeps all the law, but makes a slip in one point, it's judged to have gone against all of it. For he who said, Do not be untrue in married life, is the same one who said, Put no man to death. Now, if you are not untrue in the married life, but you have put a man to death, the law is broken. James is, has been talking about showing favoritism. He talked about the fact that uh, when people come into our meetings, and let's say they are well-dressed and they are wealthy, and we treat them different than we treat an ordinary man, let's say a poor man who comes in, and we say to the poor man, well, you sit over here or you sit at my feet. What we are doing is showing some favoritism. And then James goes on to say that these same rich people... They're the ones who exploit you and take you to uh, to jail if you don't pay your debts. Then he says, and they are also the same ones who say evil of the holy name, which has been given to you. James says, please do not show favoritism. He says, but you are given uh, a wonderful principle, which is the principle of the word of God. He calls it the law of love, given in holy writings. He says simply this, to love God your neighbor as yourself. Now, of course, James was reflecting or maybe recounting the words of Jesus when he said in Matthew chapter 22, 37 to 40, Jesus did, he said, to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. On these two laws, he says, or these two commandments, hangs all the law and the prophet. James calls it the royal command of love. That we're not only to love the Lord with every fiber of our being. That can be easily done because the simple fact is that God is invisible. But it's much more difficult to do it to people who are made in the image of God. But James is trying to get something across. He says, don't show favoritism. Because when you show favoritism, when you show bias, what you are doing is you're demeaning or maybe a comparing one person with another. And there really is no comparison between people, because the simple fact is that every person is made in the image of God. Every person has a unique personality, and every person has a unique characteristic that God wants us to look at. Now, there are some people who are beautiful and have easy personalities, and we find very easily to, um, to like them. But there are other people who are curmudgeons. There are other people who are a little bit on the cranky side and maybe not so good looking. And you know what? Those people are a little harder to love. But what we need to do is look beyond the physical, even look beyond the emotional, and look at the heart. You see... A lot of people are hurting today. A lot of people have been hurt today. And so what they do is they put up defense mechanisms to protect themselves from people who want to love them. They want to be loved, but instead they put up these walls of protection because they've been hurt. Well, you know what? When you show them the love of God, the absolute impartial um, love of God, that gives without any strings attached and loves just because God tells us to do so, sooner or later, those exteriors begin to crumble and they begin to be like that little animal. Have you ever been uh, seen a kitten or a dog who's afraid of an individual? They kind of look at them slowly. But over time, when they see that that individual is safe, they will actually climb, climb up into the, into the lap of that individual and receive love. That's how many people are. People have been hurt and they're afraid. They're scared. But when you show them unconditional love, in time, those walls will come down. He says this, have love for your neighbor as yourself. He says, when you do this, you do well. But then he says this, but if you take man's position 
into account. When you start looking at things through the eyes of flesh, when you start seeing people through your own prejudices or your own selfishness, he says what you've done is you have become an evildoer of the law. And he says this, for anyone who keeps all the law but slips in one point is judged to have gone against it, against all of it. He's, and then, of course, he uses the example of fidelity in marriage. He says, you may say, well, I am not an adulterer. But, you know, if you have committed adultery in your heart, he says, you have already committed against the law, and the law will judge you. The marvelous thing, as the New Testament is, is that we are no longer under the law. We are under grace. We are under the royal law of love. James points out the difference between the two here. Now, some may not see it that way, but it's a wonderful thing to know that you and I are living under grace. You and I have this wonderful opportunity to practice the royal law of love, and that's to love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love our neighbor as ourselves. The law says you're judged because the fact that you do evil. But the grace of God comes in. And the grace of God says, yes, you have sinned. But if you are faithful and just to, forgive, uh, to ask for forgiveness, when you ask for it, he is, he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I am so glad that we live under grace and not under law. But you know what? When we show favoritism, we abandon the law of love, and we bring ourselves back under law. We say, you know what? I am going to do this through the eye of flesh. I'm going to be a selfish person. I'm going to view people that way. Maybe we don't go about doing it that way. Maybe we don't even think that we're doing it that way. But what we are doing is when we show favoritism, bias, we're doing it from a selfish position, and we're placing ourselves back under law. Today, leave the law and come under the royal law of grace, to love the Lord with every fiber of your being, and then to love your neighbor as yourself. You see, the reality is, when you learn to love God, you'll begin to learn yourself, learn to love yourself, and in turn, learn to love others. It's a marvelous, marvelous truth. My name is Robert Dean Steele. This is your daily Bible class. You have yourself a good and godly day. Thank you.